So now let's take a look at the transport controls. Essentially, there are three ways of controlling playback in DaVinci Resolve. You can use the on-screen controls or the menu if you really like choosing items from a menu all the time. You can also use a set of keyboard shortcuts, or you can get a control surface. And the control surface that I am going to talk about in this particular series of lessons is the Tangent Wave. Although DaVinci Resolve is compatible with a number of different control surfaces made by Avid, JL Cooper, and also their own Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve control panel that you can get dedicated just for DaVinci Resolve. Let's start with the on-screen controls. So if you look at the viewer on the color page at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, there's a set of ordinary playback controls like you'd see in any NLE. You can play forward, pause, play reverse. You also have options to go frame by frame or fast reverse or fast forward. In this on-screen control, there's also a loop button. If you click the loop button, you'll see that a playback range is established here in the mini timeline. And at this point, when you play through, that clip will continue to loop on its own. This can be really handy if you're trying to get your head around a particular look that you're creating for a shot and you just want to play that shot back for a little while and see how that grade is going to work for the duration of the shot. If you want to control playback via the keyboard, all of the keyboard shortcuts you need to know are up here in the control menu. All the standard commands that you'd want, I'm not going to read this to you. But uh, be aware there's also a keyboard shortcut for turning loop on and off, command L, um, as well as a set of keyboard commands for jumping between keyframes. We'll talk about that later on when we look at keyframing. Of course, you can always use the space bar to play and stop. And be aware that the period and comma keys allow you to play reverse. Comma is for play reverse. Period is for play forward. And you can hit the space bar to stop playback. Any of the control surfaces that DaVinci Resolve is compatible with is also going to have dedicated transport controls. So right now we're looking at the tangent wave and the wave has playback controls at the lower right hand corner right here. And this is a very standard sort of set of controls. Controls for next shot, previous shot, play forward, stop, and play reverse. And there's also usually some sort of a jog shuttle arrangement. Uh, in the case of the wave, there is a jog wheel so that you can roll through frame by frame. 